Anyone can mine in Minecraft, but today I'm gonna share 10 mining hacks to help you find things faster and easier. Number one, the diamond clay trick. This is a viral trick in Minecraft where you can use these clay patches in a swamp to find diamonds almost every time. I'll keep it simple. Go find one of these circular clay patches. Go find the center block in your clay clump and put down one block on top of that. Make sure you're facing south, so for me south is this way, and you're gonna go over. One, two, and on the third block after that, dig straight down. And a lot of times you can find diamonds using this method, so let's see, are we gonna be lucky today? Anything? No? Diamonds! Hey, it actually worked! How sick is that? But as you'll see, it did take me a few attempts to actually find the diamonds, so it's not 100% of the time, but it works very well. If you want to learn more about this method, I'll link a video down below. Do your fingers get tired of strip mining? Hey, diamonds! Well, if you didn't know, there's a way to automatically mine without pressing any buttons. So what you're gonna do is make sure that you start mining. Then while you're mining, you're gonna press F3 and T. Those keys reset your textures, but when you do this texture resetting, it holds your key for you. So right now, I'm touching nothing, but I'm still gonna be breaking blocks. So all I gotta do is hold W and walk straight, and look at this, AFK mining. When you're a famous YouTuber like me, you don't need to use your other home. It's a joke, don't yell at me. And you look at that we found a cave by automatically mining and if you want to stop auto mining just click yourself once and boom we are back to no longer auto mining next up are you guys aware of the powers of chorus fruit if you're strip mining you can find caves easily by just eating a chorus fruit if you didn't know when you eat chorus fruit it teleports you so if you're mining in a secluded area it'll teleport you to a nearby cave let's test it out eat the fruit and look at that we're in a cave now to be fair you do have to be near a cave you can't just teleport thousands of blocks away but if you're near a cave this works almost every time let's try it again eat the fruit and nothing you see what I mean so my advice to you use chorus fruit if you can hear mobs water or lava but you just can't find exactly where it is do you want more netherite in your world? Well, grab your portal and get some beds. If you're unaware, the best place to find ancient debris is really low in the nether. So mine down as low as you possibly can, safely, and then start strip mining. And as you go along, you're gonna turn to your sides and throw down some beds in these corners. Then try to sleep and it makes a giant explosion. Why is this good? Well, netherite is really hard to find, so these massive craters help you locate it a lot quicker than just mining with your hand, or your pickaxe, rather. So make yourself a wool farm and do this a bunch of times. Kablam! Ancient debris, show yourself. Oh, lava. Now this method is much easier to use with beds because you can make a wool farm and make beds easily. By the way, I'll link a wool farm down below. But if you're rich, you should use TNT because that way we can make a giant chain reaction and explode much more a lot faster. Show me the ancient debris. Wait, cut. Show me the ancient debris. Wait, cut, cut, cut. All right, show me the ancient debris. We better back up. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, we found some! There we go! So yeah, enjoy your ancient poop, or... When you're strip mining, you are making a 2 by one hole. What if I told you you can save half your durability on your pickaxe and dig a one by 2 hole? Take out a trap door, open it up, go right there, hit it again, and boom! We are stuck in this little crawling animation thing. It's weird, very creepy looking. But when you're down here in this crawling animation, we can dig a one by one hole. We can strip mine like this, saving half your durability. Also, no mobs are gonna spawn because mobs are dumb and can't spawn in a one by one hole. Take that, mobs. Now on to our next method. If you prefer the two by one hole, there's a really cool perk for this. If you go into third person mode and walk back and forth, you can actually x-ray when you're strip mining. It's not the cleanest resolution, but you can kind of see there's caves above me. Maybe if I turn around, there might be caves, yeah, above me again. It's really only good for looking up, but if we dig all the way down to like bedrock, then do this, you could see pretty much every cave in your vicinity. And if you want a better x-ray, just take out a sticky piston, a composter, a block, a lever, and a piece of redstone. Do this, put a composter in the ground, put a lever next to it, attach some redstone up to a sticky piston that is gonna be two blocks above the composter. In my case, it'll be just like that. Let me just properly connect the redstone to the piston. And finally, hop inside the composter 
poster, put a block on the piston face, then hit the lever. Boom, squished down into x-ray mode. Now on the contrary, this one is much better if you are higher up in the sky. So if I go up to like Y40, Y50, I'll probably see a lot of caves. For number seven, let's hop into my survival world. If you have the resources to make a beacon with haste two, you are in for a treat. If you have haste two combined with an efficiency five pickaxe, you can insta mine stone. And I mean insta mine. If you want to make a quarry mine, this is the most efficient way to do it. Grab that beacon, grab that pickaxe, and just get chopping. Look at the speed. I'm sure most of you guys already know this one, but in case you didn't, this one is very overpowered. For number eight and nine, let's talk about where ores spawn a lot more. And I bet you didn't expect this. If you want to find gold, go to a Badlands biome. Go to these giant terracotta mountains. Because if you didn't know, in Badlands, gold spawns literally everywhere. In a normal biome, gold spawns under level like 20-ish. It's pretty low to the ground. But in a Badlands biome, it can spawn up from like Y70 below. So it spawns like coal basically. Look at it. It's everywhere. It's literally everywhere. I didn't know this for the longest time and oh my god, if you don't have a gold farm, you need to start mining in these biomes. Now for number 9, it's the same thing but it's for emeralds. If you go to a mountains biome like this, this, emeralds spawn somewhat frequently. Not as much, but they do spawn underground. And normally, they don't. Normally, you have to only get them by trading or by looting. In this case, you can actually mine them. I'd be lying if I said it was easy to find, but they spawn here, so that's good enough, right? <laughs> Ooh, mob spawn. What we got? What we got? Name tag? Not, where's the Notch Apple, man? And by the way, if you want to find any of these certain biomes to mine at, use the command slash locate biome. Then you can type in any biome you want. And for tip number 10, murder baby goats. They're annoying. Of course, I'm joking. For tip number 10, take out some ender pearls. This tip is so old and obvious, but no one uses ender pearls, and I don't get why. If you are in a cave and you fall in lava, you can ender pearl back into water. It's so helpful. I'm sure most of you guys will be like, that's stupid. I'll just get out and use my water bucket. Use ender pearls. It's so easy to escape. I'll even give you a bonus tip. Tip number 11, subscribe to Farzy to get more tips about how to play Minecraft correctly. All jokes aside, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.